So we're back to our village transformation and so far we've done two houses over here. So we've got our first one which was a small house, a second one which was a bit of a larger house and there's uh, quite a lot more houses to go. I realised there is no blacksmith house so I might turn this one into a blacksmith kind of house when I get round to it. Um, I am going to keep every house roughly the same so I'm not going to move where they are positioned. I'm going to keep them where they are. Um, I could move them and make my own personalised village or customised. Um, however, I'm going to keep them where they are distanced out. Um, and what I'm going to do is fill the area with trees and different kind of things later on once we've done all the houses. But first, I want to customise all the houses so we have a nice customised village. Um, and it's going to be a bit tough when we get over there and it's all like crowded together. Um, so we'll see what we can do with those. But for now, I'm working my way up here. There's only two more builds up this way. And then we head back down this way and clear the rest of the village. So we've got this one here and we've done a similar one before. The first one was one of these houses. Um, so I'm going to try and do a bit of a different design. Because what's the point in copying the same design for it? It's just going to look wrong. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use the same kind of block palette that we've been using. So we've been using the dark um, oak and the spruce for the roof. Now it is a interesting... You know, this one is interesting and it probably could turn out exactly like the old one. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is keep it looking completely different to the old one. Um, uh, just so I'm not re basically recycling the video and recycling the same build. I want to keep it different and I want every house to be a unique... Uh, just every house to have their own unique purpose and just look unique to other builds. You don't really want the same ones. It does get like kind of boring if you use them. Um, so I might switch up the... I don't know what we'll switch up here. I might switch up the um, logs or whatever. But um, I hate the fact that these are always higher than they should be. So I'm breaking those and we're moving this down to a ground floor. So that we can have somewhere like that. Now, obviously, I like to do the cross beam sections on here. So we're going to do those. Uh, we can remove these. Just fill that in with cobblestone for now. And uh, we'll do the same for here. And then we'll come across here. And then maybe something like this. Now, if we focus on that old, old theme, I could have some, maybe like some cross beams here like this. And then what I'm going to do is get the stair block uh, and we can have... So what I'm thinking is we could have something like... Now, this is going to look massive roof. This roof is going to look pretty big if we have it like that. So what I think my best bets are doing something like this. Um, or we have a stair like that. A uh, full block here. No, we have that, and then we have a stair. Then we have a full block here. Now, this is going to be a bit look a bit weird on this side, but it should be okay. Nothing too bad. It can uh, it can fix it. It will be it, it could be fixed. It's fine. Um, so something like this will look okay. We might even need some slabs in here. We can get like a little slanted roof um, and keep it in that medieval theme still. Something like this. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, so it's going to be a little a lot more simple than the previous house that we've done here. So somewhere like that. And then, oh, we need to turn that. So there. Then we put a slab there. We get this nice little simple roof. Now we can repeat this all the way around. Uh, so what I'm going to do is fill this in. And then go here. Full block, full block, full block. There. Um, that's not even how I did it, so I don't know why I've done that. Uh, that upside down stair there. And then it's a full block on these parts here. That's what I did on here. Then from here we can get a stair there. There here, that, that, and then the slabs. Okay, this halfway round. This is going to be a really small house, um, essentially. So we're going to do the same here. We can go up on top, like so, upside down. Then the slabs. Then repeat on this side as well. And the roof is going to be looking pretty cool. It's going to be a bit different to our usual kind of thick, really high roofs. It's going to be quite a small house. Looks like kind of a barn roof as well. Um, so it's a nice little design we can play in. Although I've done it completely in the wrong wood. So I'm going to cut this because it's going to be painful to watch me replace. Right, so I've changed it all to dark oak. Um, so all we need to do now is just add in the spruce, which isn't going to take too long. As it's quite a small roof here. So we're going to add a, just a bunch into here. Go around like this. And like this. And we add in the stairs in the corners. Do the same on this side, then just add in the spruce slabs here, and then on the top here like so. And there we are, we could add trap doors in there which might be the idea. Uh, it gives us that little wavy trap roof design. Um, it's kind of 
one of those you can do by yourself. However, it's not really going to work because it's going to be like this. Uh, so we can't even do that. So it might be best if we just leave it like quite simple. Um, let's see, but what else can we play around with? We might be able to add like a stair in here instead. So we could have something like that. Um, that looks a lot better, I think. Something like this looks a lot better. The little stump in the roof, that's perfect for me. And then what I'm going to do is do this typical stripped and spruce planks on the top roof here, like so. What I'm going to do is just place in the stripped uh, spruce logs and stripped planks on the top here. Like so. Now I could add windows up here, I think I'm going to skip on that um, because it's going to look a bit odd. But I might do it, it depends really because you can't really get up here. Um, so I might just block out like this side, this side, adding glass windows just in the top here. Um, so I could have some here and then like here. That looks okay I guess, something like that. Although this doesn't look okay to me, it needs a bit more texturing. I just placed it on the same level and that'll do. That would do, yeah we're looking pretty cool. Now the bottom, obviously haven't textured it so I'm going to need to do that. So what I'm going to do is just simply place uh, the textures that I want to use around it. Something like this, uh, down here, down there, maybe one there, down here, there, 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 and in that corner I guess. Just texturing up a bit. Now, not sure if I add a chimney to this one. We added a chimney to the first one, so I could add a chimney to this, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep it very simple. And then we'll add some but simple buttons to these right here. Very nice. Um, if we want to, for the outside, we could add the trap doors across here. And it'll cross, well, we could do it here as well, but I'm going to add um, gates there because it will cross with the windows. Um, so what I'm going to do as well is get some slabs, uh, some stairs. We can come up with like a nice little design on the outside here. Now we've got a window here, which I don't want. I'm going to break that. I'm going to do something like this. And then something like that. That looks pretty cool. Um, then on this side, I guess we could. What we could do actually is place a. What I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to get a stroop, one of these, and add these here, here, here. So we can have the thick, thicker edges to the corners here, like so. So I'm trying to build this off the top of my head while you know, creating this whole village so you can kind of see the work, the way I work and the way I do things. So hopefully this kind of helps. We can add some of these trapdoors on here. Try and get as much kind of texturing and design we can. If we wanted to, we could add the wavy trapdoors under there. However, I think I'm going to get with some gates um, and maybe campfires for this one actually. Uh, we'll get some leaves because I'm going to need those and then some chains as well uh, and lanterns. They're going to be pretty much everything I need. Now I could, I'll get a stair as well just to fill in this space here and then we'll add a door in there just so we can kind of see what we're working with here. So that's looking pretty cool. Uh, what I could do here is a nice little simple trap door, uh, get a shovel obviously because we need to put that out like so. Um, above the door there, however I could go with like a, this, then add these in here and put those out like so. So that's looking pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that actually, that looks pretty cool. Around here we can add, what can we add here? So I could add some little things like this and then we can get like a chain and from there with a lantern on it like so. Around the back here, just gonna go with the under trap doors. Um, we can add some these here and we get some leaves. Extend the window down by one. Uh, round here, actually round here we're going to remove this. And we're just going to go with a, what did I do on this side? We're going to copy this side. So I'm going to go with the simple kind of gates down about here I think I put them. And then we get leaves. Put the leaves in there too. Um, oh I think they might be lower than that, I think they might be here. Let's hope they are, because uh, yes they are. Don't want to be messing about with that for too long. I can add that in there. I believe the inside 
this has a window and this doesn't so we can add a window in here um, it's looking kind of okay in here a bit cramped nothing too bad we can fill this in here just so we've got base basic kind of area on the floor i'm gonna have uh thingy we could add the barrels and spruce that would give you more time or um kind of storage if you need it but for this i'm just gonna keep it as simple as i can make it let's move that back like so we're looking pretty cool um i think the last thing i want to do is maybe like that and get some trapdoors and then like uh flowers what are we going with azure the azures and we can add these here here and then around here too like so and that looks awesome we could add something here let's add two little flowers there and then we'll hop over onto the inside and get some nice little designs here can we add a lantern there is what i kind of want to try before i head on the inside i'm not sure i can because of the way it is but yeah i can't i'll need a chain there so that might be something i could add if i want to but i'm gonna head over on the inside so the inside is very 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 cramped in here and what we're gonna do is add a furnace crafting table you simple start our own so furnace we're gonna whack these in the corner crafting table there um, we're not going to have a trapdoor in the corner because this corner is going to be our ladder Although we can't really have a ladder here. So what we're going to have to do is actually I reckon replace one of these windows now I think this window is going to be our best bet um, And we're going to have to have a ladder that goes up here that because otherwise if we try to go up here We might be able to go up there. Actually. Can we get up here? Um, so if we had this like this yeah, we can go up here cool I thought I might get stuck because of the roof um, it's never mind that's going to work perfect in our favor and we can bring back the window let's close the trap door up and we got this this little kind of area up there and now we can add in a kind of stair with a sign because it needs them to sit down or we add no we can't really add anything on that side um trap doors and we can just make a little work station there with a lantern maybe like a pot with like a sapling in it so we can have one of these in, put the lantern on top there. It's very simple in here. And we'll just add some orange carpet. That would do. Uh, upstairs, it's going to be kind of where you work with. Now this is very small up here, so it's not going to be a whole lot I can do. Um, maybe you could have it for like two people, something like that. Um, although it's going to be very cramped, so I'm just going to keep it with one. I'm going to use the standard kind of bed design that I like to go with. Uh, and then we we'll add the sign. Uh, place that like so banner i'm gonna give orange banner and what we're gonna need to do is grab some trap doors place those there banner here and just for the purpose i had the trap door across there now we can get some storage in here probably um, just on this side like so oh, actually it might be better just to get some chests so we're gonna have that there and then if we wanted to we could add like a uh what could we add i don't think we can really add anything here that's going to help. So we can only really have a chest up here. Um, and I guess the carpet if we want some. Like so. Although, you can't stand in this corner with carpet. So I'm going to remove the carpet from upstairs. Um, there's not really a lot you can add up here. It's very, very small. I'd have to move this and do something like that. That would do. It's not really made for storage. It's just a very small house. So, hopefully from the outside this looks okay. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little series. If so, keep commenting, liking to support me and I'll continue doing this series for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Peace.